What's up everyone? Today I'm bringing you another data recovery tutorial. If you are a photographer or you often deal with photos and videos, you must know how frustrating it is to lose the precious data, right? So in this video, I'll show you how to recover deleted photos and videos from an SD card, whether you're using a Mac or a PC. Now, one thing to be noted is that when you found that some files were lost, please do not continue using the SD card or not to mention formatting it. Otherwise, your deleted files may get overridden by new ones and they will be gone forever. With that being said, let's start the recovery process. I deleted some files off my SD card and as you can see, it is empty right now. To recover the files, I'm going to be using a professional SD card recovery tool called iMyPhone and a Recover. I put the download link down in the description so you can go ahead and download and install the application. It's 100% safe. And a Recover supports both Windows as well as Mac systems and it is able to recover more than 1000 file types including photos, videos, documents, etc. which is pretty great. Now let's check how it recovers our lost data. As you can see, the software interface is pretty clean and simple. It just starts where you want to recover the data from. You can also choose recycle bin, computer hard drive, external devices like SD card, USB drive, and even virtual disk, which looks pretty great. In my case, I'm gonna go to external devices option and select my SD card and click on start. And a recover will perform a thorough scan on the drive. The scanning speed seems to be pretty fast for me. The overall scanning time depends on how big your card is. Mine is around 128 gigabyte, so it will take some time. Meanwhile, we can look through the results. And if you already found the files you need, any recover also offers the option to pause or stop scanning but I'll just wait for it to complete. Okay, so it says it is completed. The files are categorized neatly based on file types, which is pretty nice. So I will directly go to the photo category and look for my lost pictures. Another feature I like the most about this program is that I can preview the files before actually recovering them. Then I'll just select all the photos that I need as well as my videos and click on recover. Then select the location to store the files. Now let's see if the files are truly back. Yes, the photo looks great. They are all back in full resolution. I like this beautiful scenery, you know? I know you'd like it too. And a video can also be open and is still in 1080p full HD, which is pretty great. Okay guys, so I would say the recovery process was pretty successful. What's the best thing about any recover software is that it offers a free trial which allows you to recover several files totally for free. Later, if you're satisfied, you can proceed to buy it, no worries at all. I hope this video was pretty much helpful for you and will bring more useful tutorials like this one. So please do consider subscribing and also stay tuned. Until then. See you next time.